Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel and another in the dressing room video. I hope you are doing well today. Today I am at Walmart and we recently moved. So this is my first time doing one of these videos at this Walmart. So that should be fun. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you are here. I hope you will stick around and subscribe down below and I hope you enjoy this video, enjoy this kind of video. I enjoy making this kind of video a lot. So today at Walmart, I'm gonna be looking for and trying on all of the jeans that I can find. I haven't really started wearing jeans yet it's kind of this funny temperature here where I live where it's like 55 in the morning and then by the afternoon it's like 100 degrees which is very annoying but it's also very tricky to figure out what to wear when it's like this but I do have jeans on my mind as we're kind of heading into lower temperatures so let's head in and try on some jeans First up, I found a few pairs of jeans from the brand Celebrity Pink. So the first ones are these high-rise patchwork jeans. So there is a darker square on the one knee and then the other leg is a darker wash from the thigh down. There's a little bit of distressing on them as well and the darker wash is only in the front so it's not in the back at all. And I tried these on in a size 7 and they were $22.50. I think these are really cool. I love how the light wash is broken up by the darker wash and I like how the legs are kind of asymmetrical as well. Here they are from the back. The distressing on them is nice to help break them up a little bit, to literally break them up. They came about an inch under my belly button and the size seven was a little too tight for my comfort. I would have grabbed a size nine in the first place, but I didn't see one. Also for reference on the length, I'm five foot eight. So I wish they were like an inch longer, but I think they still look fine. So if you're looking for a two-tone jean or just more of an interesting jean, I thought these were great. And they do also have the same cut of jean in this lighter wash. Next, also from the brand Celebrity Pink, I found these darker wash jeans. They've got a pretty wide flared leg that has a raw edge hem that that has been like unfolded. They have some slight fading on the thighs, a button fly, and the back has some slight fading around the booty. And I tried these on in a size nine and they were $22.50. I have not tried on even bootcut jeans since I wore them back in high school. So these flare jeans were a throwback for me, even though I realize they're back in style now. Here is the back of them. I was happy with the length and for my height, I wouldn't want them to be any shorter. These fit like a true high rise and I thought they fit true to size as well. This denim has a decent amount of stretch to it, which made them very comfortable. So I do like how they look. I'm just not sure if I can get back into wearing flare jeans, but let me know down in the comments what you think about them. And this style also comes in a lighter wash. The last ones from Celebrity Pink, I found these medium wash denim joggers, which immediately piqued my interest when I saw them. They have elastic at the ankles, a lot of distressing in the front. They have pockets sewn on the outside with a thick waist with a white tie running through it. They have open pockets in the back with some slight fading as well. And I tried these on in a size medium and they were $22.50. I had somewhat mixed feelings about these. I love joggers. I'm just not used to them being denim. They are definitely baggy and pretty comfortable, but I did wish they were like an inch or two longer. Usually when I feel like pants are a little too short on me, then I wear them a little lower, which can result in a saggy behind, or I spend all day dropping them slightly lower so that they're longer at the ankles, but then I'll be pulling them up so they're not falling down so basically they'll somehow be falling up and down all day long <laughs> anyone out there relate and they also have these in this pink color which I think feels a little more joggery to me even if they are still denim next on to some time and true jeans I found these dark wash crop jeans they have some slight distressing in a couple of places and some fading on the legs as well they have a zipper fly and some typical pockets in the back with some fading on the booty and I tried these on in a size 8 and they were $19.98 I had somewhat of a negative reaction to these jeans on the hanger, which meant I had to try them on. They are very baggy and loose through the legs. Here they are from the back. They are high-waisted and they fit true to size. The length felt a little weird to me, but this is pretty close to how they fit on the model on the website. And these also come in this gray acid wash, this light wash, and in black. Next up, I grabbed all of the time and true jeans I could find in my size in each of the different styles from this wall of jeans. So first I found this light wash high-rise skinny jeans. They've got some fading all down the legs. They have a zipper fly and I tried these on in a size eight and they were six. 1687. These are a pretty standard skinny jean. They fit true to size and I was happy with the length of them as well. Here they are from the back. They had minimal waist gaping. 
They fit like a true high rise and the fabric was soft and stretchy. The pockets were hardly there, unfortunately, but that's pretty common for skinny jeans. So if you're looking for some affordable skinny jeans, I thought these are pretty decent. And if light wash is not your thing, these also come in a dark wash and in black. The next style I found were these mid-rise straight jeans, also in this light wash. They have some fading down the legs. They have a zipper fly and I tried these on in a size eight and they were $16.87. These fit looser in the legs than the skinny jeans did, which is accurate for the straight jean label. I thought the length on these was good as well. Here they are from the back. They did have a little bit of wayscaping, but I thought they fit true to size. They came right under my belly button for that mid-rise waist. The pockets on these were deeper, which was nice. So for these as well, if you're looking for some affordable basic straight leg jeans, these are pretty good. And these also come in a medium wash and a darker wash. Next from the wall of jeans, I grabbed these high rise curvy jeans in this medium wash. These have some fading on the legs, a zipper fly, and I tried these on in a size eight and they were $16.87. I expected these to fit differently since they are curvy, but not this differently. In general, they were just too big and I would have thought they'd maybe be too big in certain places but correct in others but they were just too big all around so I definitely would be a size six in these they do fit like a true high rise and I thought they were nice and stretchy but if you're similar in size to me I would definitely size down and these also come in black the last pair I grabbed are the infamous Walmart jeggings in this darker wash these are pretty skinny at the ankle and they have that like pre-fitted leg shape going on which can be good if you're the right fit and awkward if not they have fake pockets fake fly and a button that closes nothing so they are pull on and there are pockets in the back i tried these on in a size medium or 8 to 10 and they were 14.98 I typically have a hard time getting jeggings like these over my hips and that was true of these but I managed to get them on without ripping anything. I definitely was missing having those pockets. These do fit true to size and they are a true high rise. I just personally don't love how the waist looks but I think they would look fine under a shirt that covered the top part and these come in like a million other colors and patterns. Okay, maybe not a million, but like over 30. I think that went about how I thought it would. Time and True had more like your normal looking jeans, kind of basic, not too interesting. But then they do have other ones like the celebrity pink ones that I tried on today that have way more interesting qualities, but they're also a little bit more expensive. I think my favorite of the day were the celebrity pink ones that had the patch work on them, although they weren't in my right size. So that was a bummer. If you want to check out any of the jeans that I tried on today, I'll be sure to link all of them down below in the description. Well, that is all I have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!